A market correction doesn't stop Jasmi. A further 4% move once again in the last 24 hours. And an even bigger catalyst that's going to push Jasmi to a bigger price point. We could even be talking about $0.05 cents very soon. We're going to break it all down for you, though, in this video, as well as drop some absolutely insane news later on. Until you get there, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for all the latest in Jasmi content. Let's get into it. So what's going on, everybody? Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. Click all so you never miss a beat and live stream update video content and all the rest. We'll come back and discuss the chart in a little bit more detail in just a minute, but 4% up on the day, looking very bullish right now on the Jasmine chart. And absolutely, I believe there is some more to come. There's a lot of metrics that are pointing us in the right direction of further upside moves, even when Bitcoin at points today was over 2% down, back to about half a percent on the day. But what I want to talk about, well, Matthew Dixon may be a name you've heard of. He is the CEO of EVE. It's an AI-based project, ultimately investing in the future and ultimately for educational purposes. But I thought this was very interesting. He says here, Matthew Dixon says, Jasmine fans will be pleased to see Jasmine has been selected as a participant within the EVE Pro Frontier efficient portfolio. Totally unbiased using AI technology and this is a theoretical optimum portfolio constructed from over 20,000 plus assets. In a nutshell, they're using AI to build a portfolio that they believe is going to absolutely be the most rewarding, both financially and in terms of a profit opportunity. Within that, you've got Jasmine, over 5% of their portfolio. They believe Jasmine is one worth having. The AI unbiased view giving Jasmine a move. Now, we have seen significant growth recently with Jasmine, and I assume, and this is only an assumption, that this will be based on some key metrics that will be based on historic price data and, more importantly, where the price movement could go. But it's interesting that actually Jasmine is in this portfolio to 5.5%, given what else is in the market. And I think this is a very interesting move, and I actually think we'll see more of this. Now, it's also a really important reason why any company... Any, you know, project that's using Jasmine, investing in Jasmine, or more importantly, buying Jasmine, in my opinion, could all go towards the lockup that we've been talking about forever. We know there's about 250 million locked up right now. We've talked a little bit about it on these videos, but this could be another point in which 5% of that Jasmine um, amount is locked up again. Time will tell. They've been very cautious in terms of information that's coming out, but I do believe we are seeing more and more companies buying. We're seeing more and more people investing in Jasmine, more institutions investing in Jasmine. And I think this is why it's critical to keep a very close eye to it. We'll obviously bring you the latest that we can with Jasmine, but I did think this was very worthwhile talking about. And don't forget, when you look at where Jasmine and the founders are, and ultimately the people that run this, you've got, you know, Hara here is a former auditor of KMNG, AZSR LLC. You've got the former CEO and president of Sony Core, the former CEO of Sony Core. So these people are pretty well connected when it comes to companies in the space, or more importantly, these big companies, Panasonic, Vio, as well as many, many others, Avita, just to name a few. And I think this is where it does become opportunistic, opportunistic with companies buying Jasmine to hold. We're obviously seeing further build out. We're feeling further developments and partnerships come to fruition as well, whether that be in hardware or more importantly, just getting the name out. And we actually saw a more recent one, the PI42 exchange listing Jasmine. 15 days, 15 pairs. Jasmine is now listed over there as well. So they continue not only just to innovate and grow their platform, but at the same time, doing all the things you would expect from a very good cryptocurrency project, listing on exchanges, building partnerships, getting out to events and talking about what's coming, while at the same time, all feels better when the price of Jasmine is on the move. So again, some very big news, some key things going on with Jasmine that we want to keep you updated about. But a lot of people right now talking about prices. Where are we going to see Jasmine going? Are we about to see a further breakout? Well, it's interesting to note here on the Fibonacci retracement trial, we are at this 1.0375, the current price on there. We will probably see some consolidation. You see this distance between the two is obviously growing versus where we've been. But it is also very interesting if we move in a little bit. You can see how well the price has respected some of these key Fibonacci levels. And I think that is absolutely critical. Again, it's not a magic ball. It isn't going to tell us exactly what's happening. But what we can say, though, is holding up this 1.0 level could absolutely build us some support for this next push. The 786 was obviously a key break that we see on a number of price charts. Breaking that 786. Likewise, at the 382 down here, 
showing a very strong floor that we've got. So actually the momentum we moved in, as well as the MACD and RSI looking very good as well, does absolutely align to further price movement for Jasmine. So when you kind of round it all up into a nice little bow, you think, well, we have some big companies buying a substantial amount of Jasmine. You've got founders that are keen and linked directly into big corporations that you would associate with maybe the innovators into cryptocurrency. And you have a chart that looks incredibly bullish, which a lot of people expect some further pushes to the upside and some further price increases to come. I'm always interested to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Let me know why you bought Jasmine. I'm very interested to know. Obviously, the key utility when Junction comes out is going to be big. Data democratization. There's tre many have tried and lots have failed. Jasmine feels like it is the leader in its pioneer in that field. And I think that's why it's going to have such a big run. We're invested in Jasmine here on the channel, as many of you will know. Right now, we're about a 12x from when we first bought in. And I do believe, like I said, there is more to come. But ever, let me know in the comments, why did you buy Jasmine? And if you enjoyed this content, you enjoy Jasmine content, show some love, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.